Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Dr. Desmond Fitzgerald, the MD and owner of Intrepid Geophysics. Dr. Fitzgerald, it's so great to have you on the show today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about Intrepid Geophysics? Yeah, hi, Ali. I'm Des Fitzgerald, and I'm the founder of Intrepid Geophysics. And a little bit about my background was I was finishing a PhD in mining engineer, not, ge not exploration geophysics at all, 40 years ago. And I joined the operations research team at Broken Hill, uh, working on the introduction of computers in the mining industry. And uh, about 15 years after that, I was approached, as I, having set up a consultancy business, I was approached by BHP and uh, Geoscience Australia to switch across to the exploration geophysics area because there was no products in that area. And about the next 10 years, I spent working on gravity and magnetics and gamma rays, uh, making products, which Intrepid still sells. And then soon after that, or that in that journey, I was also approached to take on systematizing structural geology. And this was at the insistence of European geological surveys and Australian geological surveys. So I've spent a whole lifetime innovating in the exploration area. I'm reminded uh, as a TV buff of old of looking at Star Trek and seeing Dr. Spock come with his transponder when the, when the, uh, in, <coughs> when the Voyager craft approached a new planet and he wanted to find minerals and science fiction and, and reality is converging. We're getting to that same stage now where I think we're going to be able to say, yes, we can reliably detect new minerals. It's pretty crazy, right? I mean, some of our favorite TV shows are coming to life. So Des, can you tell me a little bit about the industry and how your cloud journey will actually help Intrepid innovate and attract more customers? Yeah, well, keeping a finger on the pulse of the world's requirements at the moment, talking to mining executives, researchers in universities, in CSIRO, and consulting geophysicists all around the world. There are three main factors which seem to be shaping things at the moment. And the first is this, the strategic lack of mineral resources that is uh, being cornered. So that we're running out of copper, tin, uh, nickel, and even fresh groundwater uh, is, is, is becoming a scarce commodity. Uh, geopolitical factors are now uh, responding to these lacks and creating all sorts of uh, uh, distortions in the marketplace. Uh, China is often mentioned in this context. And then, of course, it's not the only thing, climate change and, uh, <clears throat> and uh, social licence to operate has become a, a quite an important factor in the last time. So we're running out of known easy resources to mine. And the pressure is on to upgrade the exploration geophysics capabilities to help society, help society overcome these problems. And in this context, the cloud is very important because it can't be done without the support of cloud computing. Mm, that's very true. I mean, Des, what were the challenges that you guys faced that led up to you actually considering to use AWS in the first place? Well, exploration geophysicists was facing a crisis in our business as well. The complexity was continues to grow. The number of data sets, the data volumes, the requirements of explorers, and uh, to actually get the detail as well as look at continental scale. So we're trying to grapple with all of that. And we we without the use of the cloud computers, we found we were cutting corners and using first approximations. And we've got to break away from that. So that there are myths that operate in our business. We're saying, oh well, you know a pretty picture is all that's going to be needed to come up with uh, targets to help you drill and all the rest of it. It's not true. So there are three or more disciplines involved here, geology, physics, and computational geoscience. And all of those are required to design algorithms. And you can't do it without those disciplines. AWS takes the pressure off having to compromise and accept uh, second best approaches to computational geophysics. Mm. I'll never forget that comment that uh, Bob an ex Rio Tinto uh, veteran made when we showed him a, a, an AWS computer geology section recently he said, you really did all this and it's all hangs together. And I said, yes, uh, the, the cloud has made it possible to create these predictions that were never, never possible before. 
Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, how did partnering with AWS actually help your business grow and also address some of those challenges that you had initially? Well, the first thing is that uh, these computational uh, loads have got to the stage where it was taking us two months uh, to get an effective uh, inversion. And we found that as soon as we moved to AWS and got it working, that two months dropped to less than two days. This has a profound effect on the habits and the working and the ability to produce uh, uh, quality work. And uh, our specialists, instead of waiting around for things to finish, can actually stay on, on mission and come up with uh, interpretations and then even afford to run it again uh, if, if we need to tweak the levers a little bit to uh, fit the data better. And so it's amazing what, uh, what, what the AWS cloud has been made us uh, or allowed us to contribute uh, to the evolution of exploration geophysics. Finally, Des, and I really want to know the truth here. How did the AWS team support you on your initial cloud journey? I mean, I know for a lot of businesses, it's quite daunting. You're going on the cloud. You're worried about expenses. There's a whole lot of stuff involved. So um, can you give us the truth about yeah. that? No, sure. Well, it's. Uh, I think the first thing that the, the AWS uh, engagement team did with us was to say, don't worry about the cost There's so much. Uh, concentrate on you know, getting your uh, uh, technology in order. And we, they interviewed us carefully and our development team engaged several times. And the first thing they said was, don't worry about that. You just have the courage to do the implementation and do the testing <clears throat> and re-engineering. And they invited us to uh, push ahead with a Linux port, which we didn't think we were gonna do. And they also encouraged us to uh, uh, use the spot prices, which we also didn't know and that has made a profound uh, difference. It's, uh, it's, it's encouraged us to do much better uh, uh, outcomes than we, with, than we dreamt would even be possible. After this experience, uh, Intrepid is ex expanding to provide all of our technology on the AWS cloud now. And then we're also helping advise big end of town uh, on efficient ways to provide continuous timely assessments of exploration projects and targets. So this has been amazing as a result of AWS's support and encouragement. I'm so glad to hear. Des, thank you so much for coming on the show today. If anyone has any questions, please pop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thanks, Des. See you next time.